hello there guys welcome back to my youtube channel cat cancer today we will design this general bearing assembly in solidworks 2018 we will sketch each and every component of this assembly and later on we will assemble all of our components and i am going to use this 2d drawing in order to create all of our parts you can see this is the 2d drawing of our assembly all these dimensions which are mentioned here are in millimeters so make sure you are working under millimeter gram second system before getting started if you haven't subscribed our youtube channel subscribe our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications of all our latest uploads so first we will design and sketch this first part which is journal bearing base you can see this is the first angle projection drawing so this is that front view and the this one is the top view first we will sketch this front view and next to it up to a distance of 45 which is mentioned here after that we will create this offset boss extrude which is whose profile is shown in the top view here and later on we will create these holes with the help of the hole wizard and these cutouts so let's get started. First select here file, select here new, select here part, click here ok. Now select here plain white background and select here millimeter gram second system. Now select here front plane, we will sketch on this front plane. Now select here sketch. First, I will create this center line of length 50 millimeters. Now select here center line, snap this origin point and create one vertically upward center line. It is not vertical, so select this line and add the constraint of vertical. Now go to smart dimension, select this line, enter the value of 50. Now you can see, now we will create this arc of radius 32.5 mm and its center will lie on 50 mm from this base edge so select the circle command snap this end point and create one circle now go to smart dimension select this one its dia will be 32.5 multiplied by 2 because 32.5 is the radius so the dia will be 65 now again select a line command make sure you snap this point which is on the horizontal of the center like this now create one profile now close this sketch connect these two points now select here trim entities from this portion now we have to specify some dimension select here smart dimension now you can see the overall length is 230 from up to here to up to here so the half will be 115 select this one and this one this will be 115 now this height will be 23 from base to, to top and it is 3 mm so from base up to this edge this will be 20 select this edge this will be 20 now we have to specify this distance which is 120 so from center line it will be 60 Now this is our half profile which we have created. Now we will extrude it or you can mirror it first. I will select drag and select all these profiles and mirror about this center line. Select your center line, click here OK. Now go to features, select here extrude boss space. 
now select this profile this profile and select here mid plane now extrude depth will be 45 which is mentioned here because two and a half mm is the offset of these two set of arcs on both sides so the distance will be from center it will be 45 so enter the value of 45 now click here ok now in the next step we will create this top profile which is shown here and here in the top view for that select this face click here normal to and select here sketch now create one circle select a line command now select a trim entities trim this portion now we will dimension it now select a smart dimension now you can see the outer one is of dia 32 which is mentioned here from here up to here it is 32 so its dia will be 32 means radius will be 16 and from it is symmetric from both the sides so select a smart dimension you can see the whole length is 45 or from center it is 160 divided by 2 drag this up to here now select a smart dimension, select the center, select this origin. This will be 80 mm because the whole distance is 160. Now from here up to here, select a smart dimension. You can see this distance is 45. So from up to here, up to the center, this will be 45 divided by 2 because it is symmetric and the center will be in the horizontal with this origin you can also add a horizontal relationship if you want now now go to features select here extrude boss base now the extrude thickness will be two and a half mm sorry three mm which is mentioned here this profile it is 3 mm up above from this surface so enter the value of 3 mm make sure you check here merge result otherwise it will create a multi-body now click here ok now we have to create this slot cutout for that select this face again and this sketch now select a slot a straight slot now over your cursor over, over this arc you can see it is showing the center now snap this center and specify the other point and create one slot like this now go to smart dimension you can see the center to center distance is 10 so select this center this center this will be 10 now we have to specify the radius you can see the radius is 9 now select this arc, the radius will be 9 mm. Now go to feature, select here extrude cut and select here through wall both. Now click here OK. Now we have created our cutout. Now we will mirror these two features over the other side. For that let me select here right plane because it is exactly at the middle. You can choose any other plane if you want. Now select here mirror. Now expand this feature design tree. Now select this cut extrude one and boss extrude two. Make sure you both are included in this column. 
because sometimes only by clicking one time it will not select it so make sure you are selected now you can see it is showing the preview now click here ok now you can see we have created our cutouts now we will create some fillets you can see there are several fillets these all fillets are of 2 mm now select a fillet now enter the radius value 2 now you have to select this edge select this edge select this one this one and this one let me uncheck this last which i have selected this one and this one now click here ok the radius will be 2 mm now again select the fillet this edge we have to select it separately now enter the value of 2 mm click here ok now we will mirror these two also now select a right plane select a mirror and select these two fillets click here ok select a geometry pattern Let me select here one flat at a time. Okay, looks like there is some issue. We will create manually these fillets. Now select these edges. Now again select a fillet, now select this last edge, below edge, enter the value of 2 mm radius, now you can see we have created our fillet, now in the next step we will create this hole, whose callout is given here, this is called as hole callout, if you want to know how did I create these callouts, there is a command known as hole callout. It is specify all the dimensions which are required to create this hole. You can see this symbol is the depth of symbol and it is a M12 and 1.25 is the pitch and 6H is the tolerance of the fit of this hole and it has a cosmetic thread. You can see the thread depth is up to 18 mm and the total depth of the hole is 24 mm. Now we will use we will be using hole command. Select here hole wizard. Now select here this tab hole, straight tab. Now select here enzyme metric and select here tab hole. Size is M12 1.25. Select here. M12 1.25 select here blind now we have to specify the total depth of the hole and the depth up to which we want the thread now the total depth is this depth which is actually 24 enter the value of 24 and the depth of the thread is 18 which is mentioned here now enter the value of 18 like this now uncheck here near side countersink now select here positions select here 3d sketch now select this face like this now smart dimension select a smart dimension now we have to specify the location of this hole you can see from the center it is 95 center to center so from the center line it will be 95 divided by 2 Select your normal tool. So from this edge or this edge, let me select here. From this edge, this the whole distance is 45. 
can see this let me select this edge you can see this whole distance is 45 so from this edge this will be 45 divided by 2 now we have to specify the distance you can see the total distance is 120 and center to center is 95 so when we will subtract 120 sorry 95 from 120 we will get 25 which is the sum of this distance and this distance so when we will divide by 25 divided by 2 we will get 12.5 which is actually the distance here and here so from this edge it is 12.5 this will be 12.5 like this now you can see it, it turned black means it is fully defined now click here ok you can see it is a cosmetic thread hole but is it no, the threads are not visible due to the settings for that select here gear icon go to document properties select here detailing and check this shaded cosmetic thread click here ok now you can see our threads are visible now select here right plane select here mirror expand this and select this hole click here ok now we have to create this cutout rectangular cutout which is present at the base up to 3 mm depth you can see the dimensions are given here 35 and 220 so for that select this face click here normal to and sketch select a corner rectangle create one rectangle this whole distance is 45 and this one is 30 35 select this edge enter the value of 35 and the remaining 10 mm so from here it will be 5 mm both edges now this length will be 220 from center it will be 110 both sides now go to feature select here extrude cut and the depth is given here 3 mm enter the value of 3 mm direction will be upward click here ok now you can see we have created our cutout now we will create the last feature which is this offset of these two arcs of radius 32.5 and 40 mm and their offset is two and a half mm each on both sides because this distance is 50 and this distance is 45 so the difference of these two will be 5 mm and you can see the offset can be seen let me zoom in this is the offset of two and a half mm on both sides now we have to create this offset now for that I will select this face click here normal to and select here sketch select this edge arc convert entities now select here offset entities now the offset distance we have to specify for that you can see here the radius is 32.5 and this, this radius is 40 so when you will subtract 40 from 32.5 from 40 you will get 7 and a half mm that is the offset distance between these two arcs now we have to create this offset of 7.5 mm now go to offset select enter the value of 7.5 and now specify this edge you can see it is showing the preview direction is good we want it in the same direction now click here ok now select here line command connect these two points and connect these two now we will create extrude go to extrude command now the distance here will be two and a half mm and uh, we will select here direction number two and the direction number two is also 
two and a half mm but we have to add this distance to it which is actually 45 mm so the distance will be 45 plus two and a half which is 47.5 sorry let me this will be 2.5 and we have to edit here 47.5 you can see two and a half mm from this edge now click here ok now we will add some appearance to it select your glossy blue now in this way we can create our first part which is general bearing base we will save this part let me rename it general bearing jb short form now this will be general bearing base or save this part you can see in this way we can create our first part which is general bearing base in our next step we will create our next part which is part number two this cap Now we will create our next part which is part number 2 cap of this assembly general bearing. This is a drawing of our part. First we will move on to this view. This is the section view along this axis and this is the top view of our part number 2 and these are the whole callouts and all these dimensions which are mentioned in the drawing are in millimeters. So make sure you are working under the millimeter gram second system. Now first we will approach towards this drawing, we, first we will create this cross section and extrude it up to a distance of 45 mm along the mid plane. After that we will create offset of 2.5 mm on the both sides, you can see it is 50 mm. After that we will create this side flanges and these cut out and holes. You can see the center of these two arcs are collinear with the base edge which can be seen here. Let me select here pencil. You can see this center is collinear with these edges. Make so make sure this center of these two arcs are collinear. It will help you to fully define your sketch. Now moving on to the solid box screen, go to file, select here new. Now select here part, click here OK. Now first I will select here background to plain white and select here millimeter gram second system unit system and select here front plane and click here sketch now select here circle command create here two circles which are concentric using origin as a center now select a smart dimension you can see the inner one is of radius 32.5 and the outer one is of radius 40 these two i am talking about now the inner one is of radius but we are getting here dias so what we are going to do is type 32.5 and select here star from your keyboard and multiply it by 2 which means 32.5 is the radius and we will multiply it by 2 so get the dia now click here ok it is 65 now the outer one is of 40 radius so its dia will be 80 mm now select here line command snap this origin point and create here line like this you can see the center from center now up to here we will create this profile again select a line command up to here now select a trim entities trim these portions and this portion too 
select here again trim entities trim this portion now what we have to specify the dimensions for that you can see here this distance is 15 mm select this edge smart dimension enter the value of 15 now we have to specify from center you can see the overall length is 120 from center it is the half of 120 which is 60 now select this edge and this center this will be 60 now I will create here one center line so that I can mirror all my components you can see it is a vertical constraint showing it is a vertical construction line now select here mirror entities and select these edges this one and mirror about this axis you can see now trim entities if you want you can trim or if you don't want you cannot you you must not because it will not create any problem while extruding now go to features select your extrude boss space now select this region you can see you can select a multiple region now select here mid plane now it is asking for the depth you can see here the distance is 45 so select here mid plane enter the value of 45 millimeters like this click here ok you can see now we have to create some cutouts now we will create this cutout which can be seen here for that we will create here this arc for that select this face click here normal to and select here sketch now select here three point arc or if you are not able to select it you can click on this drop down icon and from this list you can select here three point arc if by default you have selected any other so this, in that case you can select from the list let me select it again now create here one arc like this now its radius is 16.25 select a smart dimension select this arc enter the value of radius 16.25 mm now you can see the center of this arc is collinear with the center of this origin or mid section now select this and hold down the control key and select this origin make them horizontal now you can see it is asking for one more constraint now you can see from here the center from this origin is 95 divided by 2 so select this center select this origin this will be 95 divided by 2 like this now you can complete this circle if you want now we have to extrude cut this portion in the upward direction now go to features select extrude cut direction will be opposite select a reverse direction and select here through wall and click here ok now you can see we got our desired cut now we will mirror this feature along this right plane select a right plane now select a mirror you can select on this surface or you can select this feature from this feature manager design tree and select here cut extrude one when you will select this feature it will pop up in right into the this box it shows that this feature is selected and you can see here the preview now click here ok now we have got this cutout on both the regions now in the next step we have to create these simple holes and of dia 11.04 mm and their center is the same center of this arc means both of them are concentric now select this face click here normal to and a sketch now select a circle command hover over this arc which i have just created now you can see when you will hover your cursor 
over this arc it will show you the center of the arc and we require this center to create another hole of dia 11.04 now create one circle go to smart dimension its dia will be 11.04 now you can see now go to features select here extrude cut select here through all now you can see we got our desired hole now we will again mirror it select here mirror plane will be right plane you can select the surface you can see the preview now click here ok you can see we have created for both the holes now in the next step we will create this top surface you can see let me zoom in this surface for that I will select here this front plane click here normal to and sketch now select here center line create one center line in the vertically upward direction now we have to specify some dimension you can see this overall distance we need not that distance because all these dimensions are sufficient or if you want to calculate it you can calculate it by you can see here this is 40 so this will be 52 but we will not create it now select line command create this profile which is shown here and up to this region now select this edge of the circle outermost circle and select here convert entities now we have to specify some dimension you can see the outer dia is 20 sorry 26 which is from here up to this edge it is 13 half of 26 and this will be 10 half of 20 which is mentioned here and this tapered edge length is 10 mm so select this edge this will be 10 and from here up to this edge you can see it will be 12 now I will select here again line command snap create one line now go to features select here evolve boss space now access will be this one now go to selected contours select this region ok looks like something is yeah let me delete this edge first now again select a revolve was with you can see here the thin feature is selected that is why it is showing the error now uncheck this you can see the preview now click here ok now we have to create one hole on this face which is let me zoom out which is shown here this is the hole call out on this face this hole of counter board now for that select here hole wizard Now select here legacy hole and select here counter board. Now you can edit on these dimensions here these are shown. Now first it is asking for the dia of this smaller region which is here is 6 mm and its depth is or overall depth is 18 mm. So double click on this enter the value of 6 mm and total depth is 18 now seaboard dia is this dia 16 mm at this region this larger dia and this depth from this face is 6.6 .6. so double click on this seaboard dia is 16 and seaboard depth is 6.6 .6. 
now go to position select a 3d sketch now hover over this edge now you can see the center now select the center you can see the preview now click on this check icon now you can see we have created our hole now what else is remaining let, let me go through the drawing you can see now we have to create some fillets you can see there are some fillets all along this region and the fillet radius is 2 mm which is mentioned here these fillets now go to fillet enter the value of 2 mm which is radius now select this edge this one this one this one now same as here now click here ok now you can see in this way we can create our second part which is part number 2 cap we have created almost every feature of this part now let me verify it yeah we have created every feature now we will apply appearance to it go to this appearance toolbar select here painted now select here glossy blue it, by default it is selecting the only fillet features now select here part number 2 now we will save this part part number 2 cap now click here save this is our part number 2 cap in the next step we will create our next path which is top half push and half push now we will create our next part which is part number 3 which is top half push this is the drawing of our part number 3 and all these dimensions which are mentioned here are in millimeter so make sure you are working under millimeter system so this is the profile which we have to create in our third part you can see this is the front front view and this is the top view of our part all we going to do is first create this half profile i will create this profile at this much distance which is 25 which is mentioned here then I will use revolve boss base along this center line axis and instead of using the angle 360 degree I will use here only 180 degree because you can see it is semicircular or semi hemisphere or hemisphere sorry so let's get started first I will enter into the part mode for that select here file select here new select here part click here ok now first i will change background to plain white for that go to this heads up view display and click on this drop down and select here plain white now click on this unit setting system and select here from this list select here millimeter gram second because all the dimensions are in millimeter now we have to select a plane to sketch for that I will select this front plane click here normal to or you can simply hover your cursor over this front plane in the feature manager design tree right click and from that you can select here normal to like this or you can select simply here sketch or you can select a sketch from here now this is our front plane in which we are going to sketch now first select here center line and snap this origin point as a 
endpoint and create one vertically upward line. Now we have to assign the dimension of this line. You can see the overall length is 62 millimeters. So the length will be 62. Now select a smart dimension, select this line, enter the value of 62 millimeters. Now again select a line command, create one vertically downward line like this. Now we will add some constraint. Select this endpoint of the line, hold down the control key, select this endpoint, make them horizontal. Same as here, select this endpoint, hold down the control key. Sorry, select this point and this point, make them horizontal. Now we have to specify its distance from the center line. Now for that you can see here, the distance is 25 millimeters, which is mentioned here which is the distance from center line up to this edge here it is 25 now select smart dimension select these two lines or edges this will be 25 enter the value of 25 now you can see it turned black means our sketch is fully defined now we will sketch other lines select line command now You can see the profile here. We have to sketch this profile. Sorry, select line command again. Now we will add some constraint. Hold select this end point, select this end point, make them vertical. Now select these two points using control key, make them vertical. Now again select a some center line, snap this midpoint of this line, create one center line like this. Now we will use the center line to create this whole sketch symmetric. For that select this line, hold down the control key, select the center line and select this line. And from this list select here symmetry now you can see now we have to assign some dimensions you can see the over the outermost radius is 40 which is from center line up to this edge here up to here it is 40 so select a smart dimension select this one and this edge this will be 40 uh, let me drag it like this now i will assign some more dimension you can see here this distance is 6 7 now select smart dimension select this edge this will be 6 and this distance is 48 so select this edge this will be 48 enter the value of 48 now we will add one more constraint here now select this edge hold down the control key select the center line and select this edge now select a symmetry now you can see these two dimensions we have to assign from here up to here the dia is 61 so this distance will be the radius this will be 61 divided by 2 And from here up to here it is 65 so select this edge and this edge this will be 65 divided by 2 now you can see our sketch is fully defined now we have to create these chamfers you can see here the chamfer dimensions are 1 mm and 45 degree click on this drop down select your chamfer select your angle distance distance will be 1 mm and angle will be 45 degree now we have to specify the edges now select this edge 
and this edge you can see the chamfer is created now again select this outermost edge select this edge and this edge here also chamfer is created now we will use the revolve boss space command go to features select a revolve boss space now first select this column and select this center line as axis now you can see it is, has automatically selected the profile in case if 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 it hasn't selected all you have to expand this selected contours select on this column and select this profile like this now you can see it is extruding it in the 360 degree direction but we want it in the 180 degree only half so an enter the value of 180 degree like this now you can see this is the required profile now click here ok now this is our top half bush part number three now we have to create this cutout which is shown here this is the remaining feature which we have to create you can see from top edge up to the center of this arc it is 41 and its radius is 3 mm and it will be up to this 6 mm thickness this cutout now for that select this face click here normal to and select here sketch now select here three point arc in case you are not able to select it you can click on this drop down and from this list you can select here three point arc now select this end point specify another point now this is our arc now one constraint we will add is select this origin point and select this center of the arc using the control key and make them vertical like this now its radius is 3 mm as per the drawing this is 3 mm now select this arc its radius will be 3 mm and from center up to this origin or this edge it is 41 now select sorry select this edge select this center this will be 41 now I will select this outermost edge sorry select this outermost edge and select here convert entities now select here trim entities trim this portion and these portion now go to features select here extrude cut and the distance will be 6 mm or depth will be 6 mm up to this one you can see now click here ok now we have created our part number 3 which is top half bush now we will add some appearance to it for that go to appearance select here steel from metals select here steel select here brush steel now we will save this part go to file select here save select here top half bush now click here save now in this way we can create our part number three in the next step we will create our part number four which is this half bush it is exactly similar in dimensions with this part number three but there is a hole in the center you can see if you want you can save as this part somewhere else and rename it as a half push and then create this hole and delete this hole which I have just created but I am going to create it in a separate file now we will design our next part which is part number four half bush and this is a drawing of our part it is exactly similar to our part number three except that this hole is not here and there is a hole present at the middle of this section you can see this hole i am talking about now we have to create this part now the process which we are going to use is the similar as in the last last part which we have created which is top half push now first i will select into the select here file select here new now select here part click here ok 
Now first I will select plain white from this heads of view display and select here millimeter gram second system. Now select a front plane and select here sketch or you can sketch select sketch from this menu. Now first I will select a center line create one center line like this. The length of center line is same as in the previous one which is around 62. Now select a smart dimension select this line enter the value of 62. Now again select here line command create one line. Now add some constraints select this endpoint hold down the control key. Now select this endpoint and make them horizontal. Now same as here select this endpoint select this endpoint using the control key and make them horizontal. Now go to smart dimension select this edge and this edge. This distance will be 25 which is which can be seen from here. You can see here both the radius are 25. So the inner distance from the center line up to here is 25. The outermost radius is 40. So the distance from here up to this outermost edge this will be 40. Now again select a line command. Now we will create the profile. Now again select a center line and snap this midpoint of this line of 62 mm and create one horizontal center line. Now select this edge, hold down the control key. Now select this edge and this center line and select here symmetric constraint. Now same again, do that again. Now select this edge, hold down the control key, select this edge and this edge. Select here symmetric. Now we have to specify some dimension. Now go to smart dimension, select this edge and this edge. This will be 40 mm. Now select this endpoint, hold down the control key, select this endpoint, make them vertical. Now select this endpoint and select this endpoint. Make them vertical. Now select a smart dimension. Now you can see this distance from here to this inner point. Let me zoom in. From here to here, the distance is dia is 61. So the radius will be half of 61. So select this edge. Select this edge. This will be 61 divided by 2. And from here up to this one, the distance or dia is 65. So from here up to here, this will be 65 divided by 2. Now you can see that this length edge up to here and here it is 48. So select this edge. This will be 48 and this thickness is 6 mm here on both sides. Now select this one. This will be 6 mm. Now you can see our sketch is fully defined. Now we have to create one chamfer of 1 mm and 45 degree here on the outermost edges. Now select on this drop down, select here chamfer. Select here angle distance and angle will be 45 degree and distance will be 1 mm. Now we have to specify the location. Now select this set of edges. Now same as here, select this edge and this edge. Now click here OK. Now you can see our chamfer is created. Now go to features, select here wall box space. Now click on this box, select this as axis and angle will be 180 degree. Make sure you uncheck your thin feature and direction number 2. 
if you're not able to select the contour you can select here from this icon select this cross section which you want to revolve now click here ok now i will select this face click here normal to and select a sketch now we have to create this hole and its dimensions are given 30.5 and its dia 6.30 and from this edge it is 24 mm distance now select circle command create one circle now go to smart dimension select this circle and its dia will be 6.30 enter the value of 6.30 now i will add one constraint select this if you want you can add both the dimensions or you can simply add one constraint because it is exactly at the middle so select this center point select this origin point using control key and make them vertical now you can snap the midpoint of this edge or you can do is smart dimension and from this edge it is 24 now select this edge this center this will be 24 now go to features so go to features select here extrude cut now select here through all both and select here ok now you can see we have created our desired hole exactly at the middle portion now i will add some appearance to it now select here brush steel now we will save this part which is part number four half push now click on file select here save this is part number four half push and click here save now in the next step we will create our next part which is this cover now we will design our next part which is part number five which is cover this is the drawing of our part you can see we are going to create this part by using the revolve space i will create this only the half profile after that i will use revolve command now go to file select here new select here part click here ok now select here millimeter gram second system and from this heads of view display select here plain white background now select here front plane select here sketch or you can select here from this sketch toolbar now select here line command snap this origin point now we have to create this profile Now we will assign some dimensions go to smart dimension now you can see the total dia is 20 mm this will be 10 mm this distance is 7 mm and this total distance is 10 mm from here up to this edge this is 10 mm now This gap, this cutout is of 10 mm, 12 mm dia. So from the center line, it will be 6 mm. Select this edge, this edge, this will be 6 mm. And this inner cutout depth is 6 mm also. Select this edge, this will be 6 mm. Now this is 16 mm dia, so select this edge, this line, select, sorry, select smart dimension, select these two edges, this will be 8 mm, half of 16. Now we have, will use the revolve boss base. Now go to features, select a revolve boss base. Now axis will be this one. And contour, you can see it has automatically selected this profile, in case if it hasn't selected you can select the, using this control toolbar select this region and uncheck these two and angle will be 360 degree and click here ok you can see 
we have created our part number 5 cover now I will add some BS to it select a brush steel now save this part go to file select your save this is next part which is cover now in the next step we will create our next part which is last part of our of our assembly general wheeling assembly which is spin now we will design our last part which is part number six which is spin this is the drawing of our part it is a very simple part now go to file select here new select here part click here ok now select a background to plain white and select here unit system will be millimeter gram second system now select your front plane select your sketch select circle command create one circle its dia will be 6 and depth will be 6 12 mm now select a smart dimension select the circle enter the value of 6 7 go to features select the extrude boss base and distance will be extrude distance will be 12 mm you can select here mid plane click here ok now add some opinions select here brush steel now i will save this part this is our part number 6 and the last part which is pin save this part click here save now we have created all our 6 parts which is required for our creating assembly general bearing in the next step we will assemble all our parts which you have created as far now now we will assemble all our components which we have created earlier and we have created all total six parts these two parts parts number seven and eight we will import it from the SOLIDWORKS library they are present in the SOLIDWORKS library so you need not to create those parts now let's start our assembly go to file select here new now select here assembly click here ok now first select plain white from this drop down and select here unit millimeter gram second system now select here insert component select here all files now select here general bearing base now we will import our next component which is this part number two half bush now select insert component select here half bush now i want it to rotate like this now we have to meet them select here mate command select this surface and this surface make them concentric select concentric from this pop-up or you can select it from here and click here ok now i will select this face and this face and make them coincident select here coincident relationship or mate and select here ok now one more relation we have to specify select this face and this face make them coincident click here ok now click on this cross icon and close this mate command now you can see when you will hover your cursor and try to move this part number 2 which is half push you can see the component is fully defined and cannot be moved means our these two parts are fully defined now now again select an insert component this time we will import our next part which is top half bush select here top half bush now i will rotate it like this now select here mate command select this region and this region make them concentric click here ok now select this face and this face make them concentric relationship click here ok 
now one more relation we have to specify you can see it can be rotated now for that select this face and this face and select here coincident mate and click here ok you can also click here ok from here now all three components are fully defined you can see it cannot be moved now again select insert component now select here next part which is cap like this now select this face click on this mate icon and select this face make them concentric click here ok now select this face and this face make them coincident mate click here ok now select this face and this face select here coincident mate from the list or you can select it from here click here ok now exit this mate command now you can see we have to insert two more components from our created list now select here insert component now insert this pin now select this pin select here mate and select this inner cutout you can see the pin is here let me try to reverse it now i will simply drag this pin up to here if you are not able to view your pin you can hide any of the components by right clicking in them exit this mate command and right click on them and select hide so that you can easily view after that you can unhide them now select this face and select this face select your tangent relationship and click here ok now insert component select your insert component select here all files now select here next part which is cover now select on this surface click here mate select this inside cutout make them concentric click here ok now select this face select this face select here coincident mate click here ok now we have created all our six components which we have created now we will import two other components which is 10 mm washer narrow type and socket head cap screw of dimensions 10 1.5 and 45 it is the head dia it is the total all length and it is the pitch now select here this design library select here toolbox now select here NSI metric and select here washers select here plain washers and select here we need narrow type you can see now hover your cursor over here and drag it to this hole you can see it has automatically showing the dimension m10 now click on this cross icon to exit this tool washer now you can see these are automatically adjusted and mated into these holes and fully defined now again select this library back two times now we have to select bolt and screws and select here socket head screws now from this list select here socket head cap screw and drag it into this hole it is detecting the size now you can see m10 now click here ok now same as here now exit this insert component now you can see 
we have inserted the remaining two components from our design library now these two are automatically fitted into these holes this is our final assembly of general bearing if you like this video please like share and subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications of all our videos and if you have inquiry you can join our group facebook group the link is in the description of this video thank you